What's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. We're in Black Ops 3 Zombies and these are all the working glitches in update 1.33. Now the maps Shino Numa, Kino Jototen, Ascension, and Shangri-La all have difficult knife lunge glitches, so I'll be excluding those maps from this video. And at the end of the video, I'll be discussing a 2023 news update for Black Ops 3 Zombies, so stick around. Comment down below what's your current level in Black Ops 3 Zombies. I'm Prestige 8, level 35, and still grinding to that level 1000. Then I can customize my Prestige icon. Now since it's Season 3 Reloaded for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, I wanted to show you the 9 specialist outfits here in the Black Ops 3 store. Now they haven't changed since the last Zombies map pack, Salvation, that included Revelations. It does appear that the store in both Black Ops 3 and Cold War Zombies is no longer getting updated store bundles or battle passes. Okay, first up is the Footlight Bridge glitch. We're going to make our way up here to the top. We're not going to unlock the bridge. We're going to go all the way around. What we're going to do is sprint jump slide right on top of this bridge gate here and we're able to stand on top of this and the zombies will pile up right underneath us. Now, they will wiggle you back and forth so you have to hold back and kind of move against the resistance there to keep this going, but it's not a bad glitch and it does still work. Next up we have the Ruby Rabbit glitch. We're making our way to the Ruby Rabbit building and right at the top here what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprint and strafe jump to the right. And if you strafe jump correctly you'll land right on top of this uh, platform and this is where we're going to be standing. We don't want them right underneath us. There's two different modes to this. So I'm going to show you another example, different time that I did this. We're going to sprint, strafe jump to the right, right on top of this platform and the zombies should pile up where we jumped off the last platform and if you did that correctly you're going to have a nice pile up right here. And if you guys know, the best ammo modifier to have on your weapons when you pack a punch is dead wire. It activates the most and I recommend just throwing that on every one of your weapons. Therefore, you can switch back and forth and just keep popping that uh, dead wire. Next up is the Footlight Bridge glitch. We're going to need to unlock the Apothecan Sword. Go ahead and pick up the Apothecan Sword and we're going to move on to the next part of this glitch. We're going to make our way over to the Footlight District. After you build the Apothecan Sword, you don't really need anything else. You want to have two really good weapons, of course, or a mule kick and get a third weapon, but this is a glitch you can get into really easily. I recommend picking up the shield as well. You might as well build the shield right here. What we're looking for is the construction sign to the right, and we're moving to the pillar directly to the left. We're hopping on top of it, and we're going to do the slam, the Apothecan Sword Slam, and it slams right on top of here, but you need to jump first. Jump and then slam and you'll slam right on top of this pillar. The nice thing about this glitch is the reliability. Now you want to pay attention and not move too far to the right. Over here on the right side of these cars, there are game over um, death barriers. So moving over to the right, you're going to hit death barriers. So just stay right on top of that pillar and you're never going to hit a death barrier. You'll be fine. But as you're hitting the mystery box, getting good weapons, you're pack-a-punching, you're getting your gobble guns, your perks, this is a glitch you can keep hopping into and keep upgrading all your stuff. Moving over to the map, the giant. We're going to do the shelf knife lunge glitch. You need a crawl zombie and a running zombie. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the crawling zombie in front of the running zombie so we can lunge at it. This is a knife lunge glitch and we knife lunge up on top of the shelf just like you saw there and we're going to do it again you knife lunge right at the zombie right behind it the one that's running and it'll shoot you straight up in the air and we want to land on this shelf so bounce off the back wall land on the shelf it makes it a lot easier to do but like i was saying earlier the maps that i excluded shino numa kino der toten ascension and shangri-la all have knife lunge glitches and i know you guys hate those because they're very difficult to do but that's why i excluded those maps Next up is the one window glitch. You'll need this gobble gum set up. You're going to make sure that the box is spawning on the left side of the map. If it's not, restart your game. We're going to open up towards the left side here. So open up all these doors that you're seeing me unlock. 
and we're gonna make our way over to turn on power so let's go ahead and turn on the power and now I'm gonna show you uh, what we're not gonna open up as part of the map so moving over here to the right side we're gonna unlock this portion but we're not gonna unlock the staircase right here leave the staircase closed this is a no-no we're gonna move all the way back around let's go all the way back around the map over the bridge and this room right here that you're seeing is where it's all gonna happen this window right in front of us is the one window glitch and we're pretty much ready to go we're not gonna unlock this towards the teleporter we're not gonna unlock this door here down towards the staircase leave those closed and let's start using our gobble gums the first one up is wall power what we're gonna do is make our way towards the second teleporter by the catwalk and we're gonna buy the KN off the wall the wall power will pack a punch it at some point we're gonna get perkaholic that way we'll get all the perks since we can't unlock that third teleporter up here uh, that's gonna take away our ability to pack a punch so we need to have crate power and get some sort of LMG from the mystery box and then we're gonna have bullet boost which is gonna give us an ammo modifier on our weapons if you have perkaholic by the way now you have a third weapon so have a lot of bullet boost if you can you're gonna need at least one and you can pop that for two weapons and get some sort of modifier in each one and finally self-medication that way we can stay in this room and if we take it down we have a few ways to get back up if you're playing solo after round 30 this gets really difficult I imagine if you got a second player you can breeze right through this probably get to round 60 if you really try Moving over to the map, Derise and Drac. We got a knife lunge glitch here called the Courtyard Glitch. And what we need is a crawler zombie and a walking zombie right behind him so we can knife lunge at the walking zombie when he gets close enough to the feet of the crawling zombie. That'll lunge us straight up and over right on top of this vehicle here in the center of the courtyard. A few recommendations for this glitch. I recommend you get everything done, un upgrade the bows, get your weapons pack punched before round 12. You're gonna wanna be up here before round 12. Um, it gets a lot harder to knife lunge the zombies after that. So just letting you know. Next up is the infinite Ragnarok glitch. We'll need fatal contraption gobble gum. To get started, let's go ahead and build the Ragnaroks. Collect all three parts and build that sucker. Now, pick it up, and once we got the Ragnaroks, we need to get rid of our weapons. So make your way over to Pack-a-Punch and drop your weapons in and don't pick them up. You're going to need to do this with both weapons, and then you shouldn't have anything uh, for a weapon. You don't want nothing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop Fatal Contraption so we can have a death machine. Let's go ahead and walk right into that once we get our death machine then we're gonna pop our Ragnaroks there's nothing special to this so don't get tripped out once that's running down we're gonna get ready to cook a grenade once it's halfway red pop your grenade and hold it for a second and then chuck it so you don't take any damage or die now your Ragnarok should pop out right away and what you need to do is keep meleeing with them and that's how we have infinite Ragnaroks. You can't just stand here. The zombies are going to damage you. So keep meleeing and it's one shot for all the zombies. We're going to make our way to the other side of the map where the jump pad is here. And that way it'll funnel all the zombies right in front of us and directly to us. So just keep meleeing and that's going to kill all the zombies. However, when a Panzer comes in, take him down to the rocket pad to kill him. And the final glitch on the map Horizon Drac is the spawn more zombies glitch you're gonna have to have power on so you can activate this trap but you only need about three or four zombies to start let them get close enough and you're gonna activate the trap and let the trap kill them that's gonna spawn zombies into the map and a lot more than you think so the more you keep doing this sometimes it can take two three minutes of zombies just keep spawning in but you're gonna make a lot of money by doing this this is a very effective way to get easter egg steps done or just to get prepared to do glitch spots uh, like you're doing in this video. So this can really help you um, get all the doors unlocked and everything you want. Moving over to Zetsubu no Shima, this is the infinite skull glitch. So the first thing you need to do is unlock the skull of Nunsapwe. 
go ahead and pick that sucker up and unlock the door the door to the elevator now what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a weapon that you can shoot this spore with pop the gas you're gonna need to pop the skull and then stop away hit wire triangle so your skull stays out all right once your skull stays out what we need to do so we need to get zombie kills with the skull. You should have zero there for your ammo. Should not say 100. All right, we need the Bowie knife as well. So make sure you've already purchased the Bowie knife. And by the time you're to this point, when there's like one ammo left in the skull and then Sopway, you need to get a melee kill with this Bowie knife. So take your time, get that melee kill, and that's gonna recharge the skull so it can gain more momentum. Now you'll see when I get this kill, it fills up the skull just a little bit. We need to keep that going. So that's why I said unlock the elevator door right here. Mesmerize the poster and the three symbols on the wall. It'll unlock this. And then we can just camp in here and hold the skull down and get kills over and over again. And we'll fill up that skull and we'll have infinite skull and then Sopwe. Now this glitch is not perfect. You're going to have different results for every single player. Now I made it here to about round 35, 38. Um, and then I ran into problems. My skull and Sopway ran out of energy and wasn't charging anymore. And so you might run into that. I'm just saying this is a working glitch, but it's not perfect. At any point in time, anything can go wrong. Just wanted to let you know that. Moving over to the map Gorod Karavi, you're going to need the Gobblegum Fatal Contraption. Now once we're in the map, let's go ahead and hit the Gobblegum Machine and pick up that Gobblegum. And then we're going to need to activate the Dragon. So summon the Dragon over and we're going to wait, we're going to run around real quick until he spawns fully in. Now once he's in, what we need to do is we need to activate the Fatal Contraption Gobblegum right in front of us. And we need to ride the dragon and move forward as we ride the dragon into the fatal contraption that we popped. So it's going to be right in front of us, right? So I'm going to toggle it here so you can see it. As we ride the dragon, we move into the death machine. You'll see it pop up on the bottom of your screen. That's how you know you got it. And now we have to ride the dragon over to the building where Pack-a-Punch is. Now, once you get over here, you're going to pop out your weapons, all right? Switch them really quick. And once you switch them, one of two things is going to happen. Your secondary will pop out or the death machine will. Do this little walk around that you're seeing me do right here. As you walk all the way around to here, hit Y or triangle, and it'll switch to the death machine. And then you'll have it indefinitely. Other than what you saw me just do, there's nothing special to this glitch. This is exactly how you do it, and you don't have to glitch a Shiva or anything like that. Moving over to the map Revelations, we have the rock wall glitch. In this area of the map, once we got gravity unlocked, we're going to ride the wall outside of the map and turn around on this wall and we're going to balance on top of this rock wall right here. And once we position ourselves correctly, uh, the zombies will pile up where we jumped up onto the wall at. So this is a good glitch. This is one of three that I really got going on revelations here that are pretty good. So that's one glitch. The next one is the backside of the gate glitch here. So what we're going to do is ride the wall up to the left side of the corner and there's a little pocket right here we can sit in the walls kind of in our way but if you jump right from that location all the zombies will pile up here so the wall shouldn't be too bad the only downside to these three glitches is that you can't collect power-ups you got to wait for the gravity to turn back on so you can get your moment to go snag that max ammo and make your way back up into this glitch spot Next up, we have the gate glitch. This one here is the best one on the map. We ride the wall to the left here, and there's a long barrier. It just drops off to the left side here of where we're looking. But most of this wall, I'd say about 80% of this wall, is an invisible barrier we can stand on. Where you just last jumped off is where the zombies are piling up. The other two glitches have a smaller ledge. This one here is way more reliable. I recommend you do this one if you do any.
Okay, moving over to our Zombies Chronicles map, Nocter on Toten. We need the near death experience gobble gum. And we need a big pile of zombies to uh, pile up on top of us. Now, we're going into this corner here where the couch is. We're not clearing the debris. We're facing towards the zombies, so the zombies uh, knock us under the floor. Now, as you maneuver back and forth here, you're going to take a lot of downs. That's why we got near-death experience, so you can keep taking downs, and you're not going to lose your perks or anything like that. But as we maneuver into the floor here, the zombies can push us under even further and create a pile-up right above us. Now, you can't really shoot from down here in anything, so this is a two-player glitch. And the second player can stand up there in that corner where the grenade is. Moving over to the map, Verrucked, we need the Gobblegum anywhere but here. This is the under the map glitch. And just across from Mule Kick, we're going to go right into the corner here where the bootlegger is. So I recommend you get the gobble guns to pack a punch the bootlegger and get an ammo modifier on it as well. You're going to need wall power to be able to do that. We're going to go prone right here and back up into the corner so the zombie piles up on top of us and lowers us under the map. Once we're down here, the bootlegger is just on the other side of the wall so if you have that pack a punch, you're going to be able to uh, have infinite ammo. The reason we got anywhere but here is because the zombie can actually hit you under the map where you can fall actually all the way under the map. So you're going to really want that gobble gum in place so you can pop it in time and pop back into the map. But you're going to have infinite ammo here if you get that bootlegger right off the wall there. This may take you a few tries to get into, but don't give up. The next maps, Shinonuma doesn't have that many glitches. Kino Der Toten doesn't have many glitches. These are all knife lunge glitches, Ascension and Shangri-La knife lunge glitches. <music> Moving over to the map Moon, we need the Gobblegum Near Death Experience. This is the under the map glitch. Over here in this corner, right here we're on top of the map of moon pretty much and uh we're gonna need to go right in this corner and go prone by doing so we need sort of a faster zombie to come after us and knock us under the floor when he stands on top of us i have near-death experience you may not need it it's just as a safety precaution um, you might want anywhere but here so you can pop that and get out of here because once you're kind of in this glitch you're not getting back out so you need to have enough ammo otherwise you're kind of screwed have uh, your weapons pack a punched have your perks have everything done before you want to get into this glitch because the zombies are all just gonna pile up right above you you're gonna have a nice pile up glitch but the problem still remains the same you gotta get back into the map to get ammo you can't collect power-ups down here so having anywhere but here might be the play you let me know down in the comment section below if you got enough experience on moon next up we have the top door glitch here on the side we're going to hop onto an invisible ledge here moving towards the right uh, you can fall off nice and easily so but we're going to need to jump up from the far right so moving as far right as we can we're going to need to jump backwards and forward so we can land on this ledge move to the right a little and then jump forward over on top of the door ledge this can be very tricky, very, very tricky to get into. But once you're in here, this is a great pileup glitch. They all pile up right below you, and you can actually get to round 30 into some high rounds once you're in here. You can't collect power-ups, so once you do this a few times, you'll be able to know how to hop into this glitch. Moving over to our final map, Origins. This is the Stamina Glitch. You guys are probably familiar with this one. It's been around since the beginning of the game. Next to the Stamina Machine, on the left-hand side, there's a corner we can go into. And all the zombies in a nice circle around us are going to freeze in place and be running or stopping in place so we can shoot them. This is a really nice glitch. And for those of you guys struggling on the map, Origins, 
hop into this glitch anytime and get those headshots go ahead and get those high rounds just get money up so you can unlock the map and do whatever this can be a challenging map if you're not very experienced or you played it much if you hop in this corner and the zombies attack you hop out of the corner and come back in there's kind of, it's kind of tricky just so you know next up is the trench glitch we're gonna need the golden shovel which will unlock us the golden helmet now it will take about 15 to 30 different dig sites to unlock the golden shovel and then after that anywhere between one and another 30 dig sites to unlock the golden helmet but right here's the location and right here in the trench we're going to sprint forward and jump and it'll move us up high enough on this little wooden plank where we'll get on top of it and get caught up here it's all about jumping in the correct place and the reason we have the golden helmet is for when the origin robot steps on us from this location you can get stepped on and get killed so we go ahead and get the golden helmet before we hop into this place and all the zombies pile up right in front of us this is a really good pile up glitch okay let's do a little zombies update now update 1.32 back when was in 2019 when they fixed the Gorod Karavi main quest outro cutscene. Then we come to update 1.33. This happened January 14th of 2020. Turns out it was just a routine backend update, so nothing significant even changed. Then, three years later, on March 3rd, 2023, the PC Steam version of Black Ops 3 received a 109 megabyte update that fixed four major RCE exploits that allowed hackers to gain access to your PC through the Black Ops 3 app. So here we are in quarter one of 2023. Black Ops 3 is the seventh top selling game on PC. And even though these hackers can still have access to your IP address and boot you offline, this error is called the DW Instant Crash, according to the community. There's a few other things still happening. In Fortnite Creative 2.0, there's a lot of zombies maps being created. And in a virtual reality game called Pavlov VR, it's a PS5 game and a PC game through Steam, there are zombies maps being made. So hopefully Treyarch takes recognition of that fact, that the community is moving to other games and forge modes and whatnot and creating custom zombies maps. Maybe in Call of Duty 2024, Treyarch should just add their own forge mode creative mode where we can do custom zombies on consoles that'd be pretty sweet but that's all the working glitches here in update 1.33 this is the updated video be sure to subscribe for more zombies glitches in this glitch series and activate that bell notification if you want to level up fast in zombies see you next time fellas violent out